All right, what's going on, hustlers? Welcome back into the channel. Today, we are going to be diving into my upcoming NFT project, and I'm super excited to bring this to the market because I think the utility behind this is bar none. And especially in the NFT gaming sector, when you're searching out information within the space, as well as trying to navigate these markets, I think it's going to bring a ton of value for those people who are super bought into the NFT gaming, NFT, and metaverse space. So as we see here, the project is titled this thing of ours and when you think of that obviously it has a lot of mafia influence i'm in a, from an italian family so that really hit home with me and my favorite movies and culture of all time is definitely that mafia culture i love history when it comes to the new york mafia and stuff like that so i'm very interested in that lore and i'm going to bring that lore to this project because nft gaming right now guys it's ours right so it's this thing of ours we're talking about crypto which is a niche on its own but NFT gaming is a niche within a niche within a niche, right? Uh, there's crypto, there's NFTs, and then there's NFT gaming. So this is definitely this thing of ours currently, as Web2 gamers also are stiff-arming the notion that NFTs can benefit them in the long run. So let's just go ahead and dive into the collection here. This thing of ours, an NFT gaming collective and we're going to go through the utility points here which are posted in the discord i'm going to put the discord link to join the server and kind of join the community see what kind of information you see we just released the first exclusive gaming report which i went over some macro trends in the gaming industry where gaming's pacing over music and movie industry as well as some upcoming news on some projects as well as catalysts for mainstream adoption and we covered many different categories that could lead us to adoption in the first gaming report. Those will be weekly and those will be exclusive to members of the server. And then once we mint, those will be exclusive perks to holders inside the server. So let's go ahead and get into it. So how will mobsters benefit from being a holder of this thing of ours? And let's dive in right into probably one of the most unique points that this project will be delivering, and that is the DAO. So obviously there's a bunch of gaming guilds across the space, right? There's Yield Guild Games, Merit Circle, uh, Unix, you have uh, Avocado Guild. There's a ton of different guilds out in the space. But what's missing right now is that lowering the barrier of entry for just the common person who wants to potentially have these gaming assets. We've seen gaming assets be priced at 3 ETH, 10 ETH in the past, and we've seen sales that had upwards of I mean, with Alluvium sale, for example, they started the price very high. It was a Dutch auction and people were aping in quite a bit of money to be able to get those lands to play the game, right? So one thing that we're trying to do here with this collection is lower the barrier of entry to be able to not only yield off of these assets, but also be able to participate and play the games by being a holder of a This Thing of Ours access pass. So you're gonna have the ability to vote on treasury decisions to invest as a DAO, which means you will have the decision to vote on whether we get into games like Illuvium, Shrapnel, Heroes of Mavia, Phantom Galaxies, Planets, etc. And what we'll do is we'll have our DAO utilizing these assets and the yield produced from these assets will eventually be redistributed back to the holders of the projects in the form of an airdrop from the revenue that the treasury produces, both producing yields for holders as also as letting them utilize the assets inside the game. So we will do a rental system within the DAO. So if you're a big Alluvium fan, but you really can't afford to spend thousands of dollars on a land plot, this thing of ours has your back. We're going to be able to rent that asset out to you, and you're going to be able to utilize that asset yourself, and you're going to be able to play these games. If you're a map developer and you develop AAA first-person shooter maps, Shrapnel Land can go allocated to you, and then the yield that comes in from that not only benefits yourself, but it also benefits the entirety of the community. So the DAO will function as a yield and playing mechanism for players who want to lower that barrier and be able to hop in some of these games and it benefits everybody from the player to the holders to the whole DAO and obviously knowledge so 
crypto gaming reports and articles as mentioned we dropped the first video report it was like a 40 minute video of me just going through topics market research trends adoption trends different updates on upcoming games these will be released every single week so theoretically speaking you're going to get 52 gaming video reports straight from me which are not public which are private videos only within the server so you're going to get that unfiltered content right it's not very often that i come on here and i say that that game is terrible right i, I there's not a lot it's not really good for you know relationships networking anything like that to come up here and bash a project but it's very easy for me to be an unfiltered on a private video and be able to completely spew my thoughts on anything we want to discuss. So it's really unfiltered content. And on the gaming report side, it's going to provide a lot of value for holders to see that unfiltered opinion and exactly what I'm doing within the market. So it's going to cover the market, key updates in the industry, launches, and those weekly crypto gaming watch lists as well. So they're going to be able to see my watch list change over time, what coins, projects I'm going to be looking into a accumulating. We're going to have DeFi experts, uh, real estate experts, NFT experts across the entire server, as well as macro environment, uh, I would say analysts that are going to be providing written research reports across the macro economy, as well as DeFi. So they'll cover all the bases that I am not a specialist in, and then we will be locking down the entire gaming info. And it's really the playbook to what I'm doing inside the markets, right? You're going to really have access to see when do I re-enter these gaming coins? When do I get out of the market? How am I playing my capital? You're going to be able to see exactly where my chess pieces are on the board to be able to navigate for yourself and have that little bit of an edge to feel like, well, I'm you know playing the market correctly or I'm playing it alongside and you're getting that quicker information than a lot of YouTubers are able to get out, right? So it's, it's hard to navigate when the market goes back bullish when an influence is talking about a coin you have no idea when they bought that coin and if you go look back on my track record from September all the way to the end of the bull run I was very very transparent on what I was buying when I was buying it on top of that I was consistently preaching to take profits have a profit taking strategy if your bag two X's take out your initial and let it ride you're playing with house money this was all preached and there's a track record of it on this exact channel you're gonna have inside access to those moves and everything that i am doing and i would call it the hustle nft gaming playbook because they will be having full disclosure to my entire ways that i am playing the market on top of that we're gonna have the networking aspect with a private ama session with advisors industry leaders in traditional and emerging markets so as mentioned real estate stocks options commodities nfts etc exclusive irl events as well i live out in miami florida and i'm sure that a lot of people would love an excuse to come out to miami florida or we'll do it across other locations as well but we will have in real life meetups whether it's at events like nft nyc nft miami etc or if it's just a miami a dallas a la get together we will organize these and we will get holders in one place to be able to collaborate and network work on top of that games so we just ran a thousand dollar war zone tournament this last weekend super successful we had a great lobby of players between competitive and casual thousand dollars paid out in prizes same day so we're going to run community gaming tournaments across games like call of duty war zone fortnite valorant uh, Apex Legends, League of Legends, we'll do Blanco's Block Party, we'll eventually integrate a lot of NFT games once they're fun enough for community competition, we'll do like an Undead Blocks zombie tournament for example, so those are going to be super fun events, and those are going to be holders only events with cash prizes where the holders are going to have an opportunity to compete and win those cash prizes, as well as access to the DAO assets for in-game use and another thing when you're looking at the treasury so our treasury is going to be broken up into a couple of aspects 50 percent 
of the mint revenue is immediately going towards the treasury. That other 50% is going towards game development. So game development, this will be for my future ecosystem of not only a mafia mini game, which will be built out for server and holders. So the server will have their own mafia mini game to look forward to. But on top of that, we have an ecosystem of games that I'm already developing. And the Holders here in this thing of ours will have first right of refusal, aka first access and guaranteed access to my future gaming ecosystem, which is being built out as we speak. So there's a lot of different perks and the revenue from the project is really all going into future developments and the treasury. So this is really the full disclosure TLDR on everything regarding the project. So let's scroll up. So the mint details, as we see, we're gonna have a 2000 supply, 300 capos, which are the rares, and 1700 soldiers. We plan to mint at the end of July or in that first week of August. So a little bit of alpha there. We have not announced the date, but we plan to mint late July, early August. The mint price will be done in USDC and the mint price will be $250 USDC. And we will cover exactly why it, that is. So why not a free mint? We're running a a literal play to earn DAO, which is like a de facto guild. Obviously, you can't run a DAO without treasury funds. So if we were to do a free mint, we would just be relying on secondary market activity to be able to put into the DAO to start investing for holders and gamers to be able to hop into these assets. So it really doesn't make sense, especially because we want high value people inside the Discord. We don't want flippers. We don't want people coming in just to buy and flip when they mint it. So obviously we can't escape that. There will be flippers on the marketplace clearly. But at the end of the day, if we were to rely on royalties, secondary sales to fund our treasury for the DAO, we would be looking at a really long time horizon to get that utility piece put together for holders. Day one, when this mint occurs, we're going to be able to completely begin allocating for DAO, put up proposals, and start accumulating assets, which will go right back to the holders. How can you get whitelisted? So drop down into the description, hit discord.gg slash this thing of ours, and just come in, engage with the community, provide value. Don't just hit with good morning, good morning, good night, check your posture. We don't want you spamming the discord unless you're spamming it with value. So come in, share your opinions on the NFT gaming, NFT and metaverse space, DeFi, stocks, real estate, whatever your specialization is, we welcome all industries into this discord server and it will primarily be an NFT gaming community, but we're going to have elements for entrepreneurs to network, real estate moguls to network, and really just all likes of business. We're looking to put together that level of network, which bridges the gap between gamers, investors, and game developers. So we're going to kind of have that trifecta of investors, gamers, and builders inside of this network. The server will be public leading up to the mint. Once we mint, you will have to verify your NFT to be able to get inside of this thing of our server. And just to scroll through, we have the general chat. Um, as we see here, people chatting, and we, we've been pretty active ever since we opened it up to the public. We have crypto gaming, DeFi, off-topic feedback, gaming reports, which the first gaming report has gone live. We've gotten great feedback on that. We have the NFT alpha server. We also have the charts, portfolio, signals, crypto news. Like I mentioned down here with the wealth management, entrepreneurs, real estate. So there's going to be something here for everyone. And I'm super excited to bring this product to the market, right? I feel like right now in the NFT space, we're looking at such bleak projects and we're in this free mint meta. They're all very meme -y. There's nothing really behind them that drives value for the holders. People are just gambling on a free mint to hopefully get to like, 0.5 Ethereum to be able to flip it. So in my opinion, this type of offering, whether it's uh, this thing of ours, Steady Stack, NF Arcade, Neo Tokyo, Gents Croquet Club, those have a lot more higher value pillars to get into than projects like you know, these goblin towns, God hates NFTs, the Saudis, these random free mints, which at the end of the day, 
are mostly cash grabs. Let's just be real. A free mint is mostly a cash grab because whenever those royalties start trickling in, the project isn't doing anything with those royalties. 99% of these free mints are just taking it all off the table. So I really think that the meta that we're in right now has to be bursted. And I think high utility, high value access pass level projects, which give you the kind of the playbook, as I've mentioned throughout this video, to the NFT gaming landscape direct from the source, which in this case is myself as I am the founder of this thing of ours. So I think that the value is jam packed and this all culminates into why it's not a free mint and why being in this community will give you that level of access access and utility that other projects simply don't from information to the DAO to the network to the advisory calls jam-packed with value and we have a ton of partnership announcements coming up as well and one of them we just recently announced with Clementine's Nightmare so this was our first partnership announcement and we have a lot more partners to announce leading up to Mint. I'm super excited to roll out our partners as we have some big guns that we still have not announced. So I'm excited to get the ball rolling over the next three to four weeks up leading up to the Mint. So guys, if you liked the video, be sure to drop a like on the video. If you're bullish on this thing of ours, like the video, drop a comment down below on your thoughts or with your questions on the project. As mentioned, we are aiming to mint at the end of this month or at the beginning of August. The official date will be released very, very soon. Hop in the Discord in the description below and we will see you there. Guys, I will be back with another video very soon. I know I've been kind of absent on this channel. The Crypto Banter shows are live every single day. I host the In the Game show on Crypto Banter in case you don't know. Uh, so I am live four to five days a week over on Crypto Banter currently. More videos will be coming to this channel, uh, to the public on the Hustlepedia channel. So be sure to subscribe for more. I'll be back next time. See you guys in the Discord server.